It's like you're having a you're having a, uh, a fracture or a bleeding, and you keep putting a small bandaid, and keep spending on that bandaid every month, every quarter. I think that that's what's that was what was happening um, for for many of the poorer uh, population that the expense of energy was actually not coming down. And when we talk about solar being expensive, we were talking about solar in a fixed cost, while other resources. As an over a period of ten years, because you're paying for monthly kerosene or monthly grid, I mean, what we were saying that solar or any other form of energy should have been also lo looked at from the same time frame. That if the poor were able to buy solar over a period of ten, 10 years or five years as an asset, it would have actually made it affordable. Even in 1994, when solar prices were ten times more expensive, even then it was financially viable. The other parts of the ecosystem were missing, yes, but it was still viable. So more so now that the solar panel prices have come down, though we have a question mark on the batteries yet, but I think it's it's a, it's a matter of financing, technology innovation, efficiency of appliances that puts in all together to say that whether something, an intervention is affordable or not at the doorstep.